what you mean. I do the best I can. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Um.
<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. So um, I'm just going to begin as you breathe and relax and chill out. <laughs> I'm just going to honor through our breath the indigenous people of this land, the acknowledgement of our university's Native American program affirms that Harvard University is located on the traditional and ancestral land of the Massachusetts, the original inhabitants of what is now known as Boston and Cambridge. We pay respect to the people of the Massachusetts tribe, past and present, and honor the land itself, which remains sacred to the Massachusetts people. Amen. So dear graduates, faculty, families, guests, staff, and friends, Welcome to the Campus Green, and how wonderful to have you all here with us for this Harvard Divinity School Diploma Ceremony. So first of all, congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> Those of you who are at the ceremony this morning will know that we took it over pretty well. Um, uh, class speaker, soloist, um, blessing giver, yeah, yay! I had a three-line part, <laughs> which mercifully I didn't fluff. <laughs> it's actually quite amusing to see these deans in a row with all of their different strategies of how to make these announcements. You know, some with a little thing in their hats, some with notes, some pasted into books, some just shaking nervously, not knowing what <laughs> Yeah, anyway. So I'd like just to take a moment um, to say a special thank you to um, all you parents and families and friends back there, and to thank you on behalf of our students for your really crucial support through their studies here, especially in this particularly challenging time of the COVID pandemic. So we celebrate with you today as well and celebrate you. And I ask our graduates if you wouldn't mind just rising and express your thanks to all of you back there. So thank you. So it's now my very great pleasure to introduce our student speaker this year, uh, always uh, selected by competition. And our speaker this year is Jessica Young Chang, who's receiving the MDiv from HDS. So Jess, come and take it away. <laughs> Beloved Dean Hempton, devoted administration, staff, and faculty, dearest friends and family, on behalf of the graduates of the class of 2022, it is my honor to welcome all of us to the diploma awarding ceremony at Harvard Divinity School. I invite you to take a few deep breaths, and as you are able, to look around. Print this moment in your mind. Classmates, consider your colleagues who have gone on this journey with you. Look at the teachers, the spiritual care providers, the administrators, librarians, and staff who have been our thought partners and collaborators. Take in this space, feel the air on your skin. We are breathing the same air that our ancestors breathed ancestors of faith, of scholarship, or culture. Look at these buildings. These buildings are made of bricks and rocks hewn from our ancestors' bones. The flourishing plants have been watered by their tears, their blood, their sweat. Let us whisper a word of thanks into the wind, carried to the spirits of those who have gone before, who have poured their land and labor 
their dedication, their time, talent, and treasure into this ground so that we may gather on it to ask evocative questions and attend to the stirrings of our wondering hearts and perceptive minds. If your experience today is anything like mine, you are feeling all the feels. Joy, relief, anxiety, impatience, we are finally done! Yeah! We feel ready, maybe. Can we sustain our friendships through this transition? And what do we do now? Some of us will move into law, policy, or medicine in a country where people still battle for the right to their reproductive destiny. Where black, brown, queer, and trans folks are being disappeared in the shadows and under the searchlights of the state. Where to go grocery shopping, to attend worship, to enter an elementary school classroom is to take your life in your hands. Where our world is crumbling and war and poverty are raging. Some of us seek ministry or organizing. In a world rife with anger, fear, and loss, we desire to abide on borderlands and hold wounded hands and hearts, helping to facilitate healing and to weave connection across chasms of difference that seem impassable. Some of us will use our skills as creators to illuminate the intangible in song and word and experience and image and story. We will build things that will show the magnitude of art to transform. Some of us will move into classrooms as scholars who uncover the insight of religious study and the ways it intersects with other elements of the human experience. It feels scary. It should feel scary. The stakes are high. Perhaps you don't know if you're up for it. I maintain that we are because we are here. To encourage us, I offer a few reminders for us graduates, as well as for our communities. For every one of us here, there are lovers, partners, friends, siblings, colleagues, and family members who have been listening to us, laughing and crying with us, hydrating us, sending us cute cat gifts, bringing us food, lighting candles for us, and thinking of us. We cross this threshold together. Beloved, I issue this invitation to each of us as we move into this next beat of life. First, take immaculate care of yourself. One of the first lessons I learned at HDS is that it would take as much of my time, energy, or peace of mind as I was willing to give. This is true not just about HDS, but about many things in life. A job, a school, a cause or community, volunteer work, organizing, a campaign, an institution, whatever you are willing to give, it is willing to receive. Let us be clear with ourselves and then clear with one another about the way that we, about the care that we must take in order to work in a meaningful and sustainable way. As much as you are able to and as much as it is within you, don't cut corners on the things that you do or don't do, the ways you live that bring you joy or peace or allow you to sleep at night. In one of the traditions I practice, there is a word, viveka. It means discernment. Let us be discerning about what we need to be healthy, rested, and capable so that we are able to share from our abundance Centering our spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical health requires uncompromising attention. How it looks will change from time to time, but let us be devoted to our wellness. Our diligence in our care is a gift to ourselves and our collaborators. Next, don't get too comfortable. In my first year, I participated in an anti-racism training hosted by Assistant Dean Steph Gauchel, and the Harvard Div School Students Association. In that space, I learned about the growth zone. 
It looks different for each of us, but the growth zone is always outside the comfort zone. Always. It is a liminal space. It's new and strange. We don't know what will happen there. It might not always feel great, but we always grow there. Classmates, we have spent the last one, two, three, or even more years in the growth zone. And don't get me wrong, it is good to spend time in the comfort zone. My vacation starts Monday. <laughs> That's right. But, but when it's time to grow, let us be willing, like every seed, like every baby chick, baby turtle, and baby human, to break the membrane or shell of comfort and move into the space within our world that helps us grow. Finally, radicalize your love. My other tradition centers the narrative and teachings of a carpenter turned preacher slash revolutionary who was disgusted with how the forces of political and social power treated members of his community with the least power. He was a religious and cultural minority in territory occupied by the empire, and as such, he had less power than some. Still, he used his power to love others in word and in deed, in how he held community and how he moved through the world. In his best moments, he loved people with a rootedness that recognized their abiding humanity. The way he loved was profound and he sacrificed everything for it. Our own way of love in the world may not ask the same sacrifice of us, but what are we willing to do for what we value, what we love? We call in the spirit and wisdom of Brother Cornell West when we remind one another what he taught us, that justice is love in action. When we pour our capacity to do justice and love mercy at the root of one another's humanity, we allow for the possibility of indelible change within ourselves as well as in circumstances that should change. Let us be brave enough to take risks with our love, to be sloppy and generous with love. Let us adorn one another with our work for justice as love. Let us make our love radical. Initiation is a set of challenges presented to an individual so that they may grow. Our time at HDS has been an initiation, and we gather as a community to affirm it, the crucible of discovery and transformation from which we emerge. We have been challenged, comforted, hurt, healed, nourished, honed, and without doubt, bettered by our time here. We are grateful for everyone who has imbued ease and light into our experience. Classmates, I am grateful to be among you. I am humbled that you offered me the opportunity to speak to you. I believe in you. I love you. May we rest, may we grow, and may we love. Congratulations and enjoy this special day. Thanks so much for these um, beautiful and wise and humane words. We're really grateful. Thank you. This morning in Tercentenary Theater, 131 degrees were conferred on the graduating class of 2022 of the Divinity School, inclusive of degrees earned in November, March, and May. These were comprised of 74 Master of Theological Studies, 39 Masters of Divinity, 11 Masters of Religion and Public Life, first graduate in class for that degree. <laughs> Two Masters of Theology and five Doctors of Theology. So today we have the opportunity in a more intimate gathering 
to celebrate these degrees and the individual attainments they represent. Each graduate will be presented by the Associate Dean for Enrollment and Student Services, Tim Wilski. And as each person comes forward to receive their degree, if the graduate has indicated a desire for us to do so, a brief statement about their future plans will be read by Steph Goschel, our Assistant Dean for Student Affairs. So we will award diplomas by degree, beginning with the MTS students. <clears throat> We now present the graduates for the degree of Master of Theological Studies. As the Dean mentioned, we have a tradition of reading a personal statement from each graduate if they've chosen for us to do so. We encourage you to celebrate the accomplishments of these wonderful people, however you see fit. So clap and holler as much as you'd like, but please hold your expressions until the end of each personal statement. Saraya Ali. Zishan Moyes Ali. Zishan will intern with the UN this summer and will teach at Harvard next fall while continuing his race and equity activism. He celebrates his loving family, his mom, dad, and oldest sister, Kieran, who are in the audience, for their endless support. He reminds us that Tupac said, keep your head up. <laughs> Samuel Apple. Sam would like to thank his parents for their bottomless love, patience, and support. And would also like to thank his eminence, Professor John Levinson, <laughs> Professor Andrew Teeter, and genius Jonathan Mason Wolf for being truly extraordinary ed educators in and outside the classroom. Hector Arroyo de la Paz. Hector thanks his family and friends. Without their love and support, this would not have been possible. These past two years have been challenging, but incredibly rewarding. Hector has made lifelong friends, learned lifelong lessons, and is more inspired than ever to make long-lasting change. Samiha Basir. Samia is in gratitude to her dad for inspiring her love of the divine, her mom for cultivating her love of learning, and her husband, Braza, for endlessly believing in her. She dedicates this degree to her late grandmother, Muhammadi Hamid. <laughs> Seth Bewell. To the creator who creates and recreates, family that always supports, friends that have been good companions, faculty that inspire, staff that keep Harvard working, and ancestors that pave the way. We made it. Swati Chohan. Swati thanks her family, friends, and teachers who helped her grow into the person she is today. In particular, she is grateful to Prashant, Professors Hallisey and Eck, Sunshine, Nathan, Chantel, Rebecca, and Margaret, whose continued love and support have prepared her for what lies ahead. Amaya Jade Cook. <laughs> 
During her time at HDS, Amaya has grown as an advocate for justice and a cultivator of hope. To God and her beloved community, Amaya extends her deepest gratitude for filling the past two years with joy, music, and warmth. Hazani Amarachi Creek. Azani would like to thank all the students who pointed her to God in the most beautiful and unexpected ways. Lamia Cyrus. Lamia, <laughs> Lamia would like to first thank God for this great accomplishment. She would also like to give a special thanks to her family and church. Thank you for your many prayers. Susan Wolf Dickoff. Next year, Susan will pursue a research fellowship focused on the history and ethics of wealth and philanthropy. She is grateful to her mother, husband, children, and faculty, and student colleagues. From Pure K. Avat 216, quote, you are not required to complete the work, but neither are you free to neglect it. Jacqueline May Dunn. Jacqueline would like to thank the Divinity School for encouraging her interests and offering the flexibility to pursue her love of the Middle Ages at HDS and other Harvard schools. <laughs> Mohammed Suman Ayla. <laughs> Muhammad will start his PhD in Islamic studies at UCLA in the fall. He is deeply grateful to his family, friends, here and back home, professors and mentors who all contributed immensely to his academic endeavors. AJ Ferris. Emily Farnsworth. Emily would like to thank her classmates, professors, and coworkers for their insight, support, and friendship. Ben Fleischer. Ben is grateful to his friends and family for their support throughout his time at HDS. Ruth Helen Foster. Woo! Ruth would like to thank all who have supported her throughout her journey at Harvard, including members of the Harvard faculty, her friends back home and at Harvard, the Goldbergs who welcomed her into their family in the US, and above all, her mother, Dr. Helen Foster. Miles Nicholas Garbarini. Fernanda Garcia Oteza. Fernanda would like to thank her friends and family for their support as she prepares to continue her studies as a PhD student this fall. Rachel Gibeon. Rachel is deeply grateful for the support of her parents and of her twin sister, Rebecca. Akil Gopi. Akil is infinitely grateful to his family, friends, and professors, especially Terence Avea, Jason Err, and Giovanni Bazana for their support and wisdom. Anne Kathleen Hallowen. Anne will be continuing at Fordham University this upcoming fall to earn a doctorate of philosophy and theological studies. Mohammed Hassan. Arriving in the U.S. as a refugee, Mohammed had no clue that the study of American religious history would transform his life forever. He will be working as a research assistant at HDS over the summer. 
Mohammed would like to thank advisor Professor Holland for his attentiveness and mentorship. Nadia Milad Isa. Nadia will be starting their PhD program in the Department of Religious Studies at the University of Texas at Austin this fall of 2022. Amos Jackson III. Amos would like to thank his family, friends, and the faculty and staff of HDS for continued support and grace. Maya James. <laughs> Maya would like to thank her family, her partner Lottie, and the student body for all their support. She continues to live by Toni Morrison's words, quote, if there is a book you want to read, but it hasn't been written, then you must write it. Sibga <laughs> Javed. Sibga would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their support throughout the program. This upcoming academic year, she will be partaking in an intensive Arabic program in Amman, Jordan. Jonathan G. <laughs> Nicholas Jutt. Nicholas would like to thank his teachers, friends, and family. In the fall, he will enter the PhD program in the study of religion here at Harvard. Peter Cornelius Kamink. Peter is thankful to America and its institutions for giving him the opportunity to study for the last six years in the US. He will return home to the Netherlands to pursue his PhD in political philosophy at Leiden University. Haider Kazimi. Haider, Haider thanks his wife and parents. He prays their children always love God, Muhammad, and his family. And remember Ali saying, quote, there is enough light for those who want to see. Amadou Farouk Kunate. Let's go! Amadou is grateful for the continued support of his mentors, especially Dr. Khan, Dr. Alupina, Dr. Savea. He's thankful for the relenting, unrelenting encouragement of love of his family, especially his mother, Sabatu, and stepfather, Ibrahim. He'll continue his studies this fall at Harvard, pursuing a PhD. Win Ted Jaw. <laughs> Ethan Nosanal Levin. <laughs> Ethan will be doing a chaplaincy residency at Vanderbilt University Medical Center following graduation. He is grateful for the support of his parents, mentors, partner, and friends. Abigail Grace Lewison. Abigail studied women, religion, and narrative at HDS. She is so grateful to be joined by her family and loved ones today, in flesh and in spirit. Abigail looks forward to pursuing a path in creative writing and celebrating the special occasion that is this life. <laughs> Maisie Luo. Maisie would like to thank Professor Gaiazzo, Terry Tempest Williams, North Atlantic Right Whales, a Hummingbird, Norbu, Smokey, her HDS friends, and her parents for encouraging her to keep painting. After HDS, she will start a Master of Fine Arts in Painting at Rutgers. Sammy Manasa. 
Sammy loved her time at HDS and is grateful to her amazing family, friends, and all the HDS faculty members and classmates that challenged and inspired her along the way. Quinn Parker Matos. <laughs> Quinn will matriculate at the NYU Long Island School of Medicine this July. Jacqueline Grace McIntosh. Jackie would like to thank her HDS faculty and peers who have so greatly enhanced her learning experience at HDS. Jacob Mortimer. Jacob would like to express his gratitude to the many friends and professors who inspired and supported him at Harvard. He will begin a DPhil at Oxford in the fall. Laura Muha. At HDS, Laura studied women, gender, sexuality, and religion. Jesus Murillo. <laughs> Jesus will be continuing his journey at the Harvard Kennedy School as a research fellow at the Center for Public Leadership. After his fellowship, he will be continuing his academic journey at Duke, where he will be obtaining his master's in public policy. He is grateful for his time at HDS. Iljan Nas. Iljan would like to thank her mother, her fiance, Jacob, and Harvard faculty and teaching staff for their never-ending encouragement and support. She is excited to continue her studies as a PhD student in the study of religion here at Harvard. Emily Osler. At HDS, Emily studied indigenous environmental ethics and agricultural practices in China, Myanmar, and the US. She would like to thank her professors, family, and friends for believing in her, emboldening her in her scholarship, and urging her to lead with brave love. <laughs> Celia Paivo. Celia's time at HDS was a joyful exploration of balance, learning to value religion as both a scholar and participant. She is so thankful to her loving family, community, and partner for all of their support. Gabriela Yari Pons Burgos. Gabriela offers this quote by Anna Portnoy Brimmer. Quote, like mangroves, we are of an intertidal existence. We stand rhizomatic upon the saline earth. Elizabeth Ann Poulos. Liz will continue her studies as a 1L student at Harvard Law School in the fall. She she would like to thank her loved ones, professors, and peers for their support. She could, have not, she could not have done it without them. <laughs> Hamza Qureshi. Sakib Tanvir Qureshi. Sakib is gr deeply grateful for the support of his family and the HDS community, professors, friends, mentors, and staff, for providing a space to explore, grow, and develop in an a myriad of ways. He will be beginning doctoral studies in global Islam at USC next fall. With gratitude and love. Bilal Rahman. Woo! Bilal would like to honor his family and loved ones for all their support and wisdom. He gives sincere thanks to the friends made here. You all are family. Alejandra Salemi. 
Alejandro will begin a PhD in population health science at Duke in the fall of 2022 and is excited to continue exploring the intersection of public health and religion. She is thankful for the support of her family, her partner, and her community in this journey. Hannah Santos. Hannah focused in religion, ethics, and politics, and she is thrilled to continue her religious literacy and religious freedom advocacy after graduate school. Madeline Scott. Madeline is so grateful to her parents for their unwavering support. Nathaniel Gray Sylvia. Nate would like to express his gratitude to his parents, family, and friends, both here and afar, for their generous support throughout his studies at HDS, and particularly for sending him pictures of his dog, Maybelline, while he's burning the midnight oil. <laughs> Nicholas Jerome Sprague. Thomas Sullivan. <laughs> Bjorn Tiering. Next year, Bjorn will be pursuing his JD at Columbia Law School. He would like to thank his family for a lifetime of unconditional love, support, and guidance. Noor Idris Trena. Noor is indebted to her parents, Leila Trachy and Idris Trena, anything who inspires any good she does. She's also overwhelmed by the support of her brother, Assad Trena, and his wife, Jasmine Riyadh, without whom none of this is possible. Noor is also beholden by HDS and all the no novel students who made it home. John Wheaton. Jack wishes to thank his family and friends for all their support. <laughs> Amanda Wibben. Amanda will be starting medical school at Georgetown University this fall and is excited to apply her studies in faith, global health, and politics as a physician in the future. Nicholas Jacoby Robleski. Woo! Nick wants to thank all those who have helped him get to this point, and he looks forward to seeing where the future may lead. Shuangxia Wu. Shuangxia would like to thank her family, friends, and professors who supported her from both sides of the Pacific. And a special thank you to her parents, roommates, and friends Swati and Yuan for filling the past two years with endless joy. Chi Yi. Chi is profoundly grateful for the intellectual guidance, friendly assistance, and community care she gained at HDS. She sincerely wishes everyone's future journey is bright and fulfilled. Wayne Camino. She join us. Okay. Would the MTS graduates please rise? Dean Hempton, members of the faculty, family, and friends, I present to you the Master of Theological Studies graduates of 2022.
You may be seated. We now present our graduates for the degree of Master of Divinity. Alex Baskin. Alex will be staying in Bo the Boston area to work in hospital chaplaincy. If you'll be around, he'd love to drink tea with you and share our moments of bewilderment, despair, and unmitigated joy. <laughs> Carolyn Elizabeth Beard. For their support, Carolyn would like to thank her husband, Michael, her mother, Sonia, and her cat, Maui. Qu <laughs> quote, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. <laughs> Allison Lynn Bowles. Allison would like to thank the many professors and friends who have supported her at HDS. After graduation, she hopes to work on her writing and explore monastic life. Connie Chen. Connie offers from T.S. Eliot this quote, what you thought you came for is only a shell, a husk of meaning, from which the purpose breaks only when it is fulfilled if at all. Either you had no purpose, or the purpose is beyond the end you figured and is altered in fulfillment. Catherine Dudzik. Katie would like to express boundless gratitude for all the people who supported and witnessed the experience of the world expanding in beautiful ways for her these past three years. Timothy Ann Ellis. Next year, Timothy will serve the Boise, Idaho and Magic Valley Unitarian Universalist Fellowships as their intern minister. Timothy is, is excited to join these two congregations, each a stronghold of justice in their respective communities. Naomi Fedna. Naomi would like to thank her family and fiance for all of their love and support. She has been awarded Harvard's Frederick Sheldon Traveling Fellowships and will be moving to France to pursue research and creative writing for one year. <laughs> Ross Fian. Ross wholeheartedly thanks his parents for always believing in him, his family for always loving him, and HDS for opening the doors of a lifetime. Maeve Hammond. Maeve will begin her clinical pastoral education residency at Massachusetts General Hospital this October. She plans to be ordained in the Presbyterian Church, USA, Maeve thanks her academic and denominational mentors, colleagues, and friends. Catherine Harvey. <laughs> Catherine will continue her studies and work in higher ed and looks forward to continuing the work she has begun here at HDS. Yasin Hashmi. Yasin thanks his parents, Shamim and Shadab Zist Hashmi, and his brothers Yusef and Yusha Mikhail Hashmi. He wouldn't be here without them. Hmm? 
Cody Hooks. Cody came to the tidal northeast from the desert southwest, where he will eventually return. He is so grateful for the ocean, for his partners and cats, ancestors and dearest friends, both here and beyond, for their gentle and ever-present support on this journey. Monito Thomas Jansen. Monito will be relocating to the University of Wisconsin-Madison campus in the next few weeks to join Press House as their Associate Director of Resident Residential Community. Prince Shantae Tamika Jenkins. HDS helped Prince become human, a better neighbor, and a better guest on these lands. Prince intends to design a multidiscipline animal welfare PhD program to transform Prince's animal ethics research into real world solutions that measurably positively impact the lives of a category of animal. <laughs> Ryan Jenkins. Hey, Ryan. Ryan would especially like to thank his late grandfathers, Ed Jenkins and Buddy Aldrich, his grandmother, Linda, his mom, Lisa, dad, Steve, sister, Jenna, and all the friends who made this possible. <laughs> Alexa Kleinmayer. Alexa is here today because of their family, friends, and teachers. They are so grateful for your support and love. May all beings be well and happy. Poshit Nag Mandali. Diana Marin. Diana learned two things at HDS, how to be a friend and how to say I love you. Congratulations to the class of 2022. <laughs> Minahill Mehdi. <laughs> Minahill joined Harvard to learn the language of love, working for the collective struggle for change. At HDS, she found an entire landscape for it. She dedicates this journey to her parents, especially her father, Jafar Mehdi, who taught her the first words of love, community, beauty, and justice. Thomas A. Mitchell. Thomas would like to thank his dear friends, Melissa Cedillo, William Scruggs, Liam Newing, Khadija Ali, and Ebony Nash for having made the past three years worth it. John Markham O'Connor. John will begin his clinical pastoral education at Beth Israel Hospital five days hence, and then a year-long internship in the fall at a local Unitarian Universalist congregation as part of his ministerial formation. John wants you all to know that he already misses you, faculty, students, and staff. Mary Therese Perez. Mary thanks her HDS pals, her family, and her community of care for their generous love and support. She looks forward to moving with her partner to Minneapolis and continuing to work in anti-racist education and museums. Julia Gale Ryman. Julia would like to thank her beloved HTS community, her classmates, dear friends, mentors, and her family for their love, accompaniment, and support over the last three years. She is excited to return to Minneapolis and to continue growing as a hospital chaplain. Lindsay Sanwald. 
Lindsay dedicates this achievement to her mother, Denise Lucas Sanwald, and her big brother, Rudy Lucas Sanwald, who have been rooting for her since 1984. Searing Young Soon Say. Searing is grateful for the friendships and mentorship she has received at HDS and hopes to pass on their kindness in the future. William Scruggs. Eva Seligman. Eva would like to express her immense gratitude for her adorable and supportive family and for her mind-bogglingly inspiring, generous, loving, and lovable HDS friends and community. Molly Silverstein. Lori Stevens. Lori was a board member for the HDSSA and HUMS. She was a 2020 Billings Preaching Prize finalist and received the Hopkins Faculty Award. She goes on to a ministerial internship in Minneapolis, followed by Unitarian Universalist ordination next year. Rebecca Santa Ana Stromberg. As a practitioner scholar, Rebecca studies embodiment and healing practices cross-culturally. Her inquiry is at the intersection of ritual, healing, and creativity. After HDS, she will be continuing her training, immersing in practice, developing skills, and practicing with others. Hi, Vinita. <laughs> Heather Joanne Wakefield. Heather will be returning to Western Pennsylvania to serve as a United Methodist pastor. She is thankful for all the wonderful people she has learned with and from at HDS. <laughs> Jessica Michelle Young Chang. Jessica plans to complete a clinical pastoral education residency and to continue writing reproduct Reproductive Justice and Interfaith Ministry. We give Jess a chance to join in. <laughs> Okay, would the MDiv grads please rise? <laughs> Dean Hampton, members of the faculty, family and friends, I present to you the Master of Divinity graduates of 2022. Please be seated.
For the first time, we now present the graduates for the degree of Master of Religion in Public Life. John Thomas Camardella. John needs to thank his incredible life, wife, Lindy, his mother, Rosalind, his mother-in-law, Barbara, and most importantly, his children, Peyton, Marley, and Zach, for all their love and support during his time at HDS. Megan Clark. Megan wants to thank her friends, family, and especially her fiance, Alu Da, for supporting and encouraging her through a strenuous year. She is excited to study religion and journalism at New York University in the fall. Ellie Duke. Hans Irfan. <laughs> Eric Allen Isaacson. Eric Allen Isaacson is a practicing attorney who hopes his work at Harvard Divinity School will help him better to represent religious people and organizations striving to achieve just peace. Sarah Pearson. <laughs> Philip Francis Bacardi. <laughs> Margaret DeBay Rogers. Alejandra Villegas. <laughs> Susan K. Weaver. Susan thanks her children for their support this year. She's especially grateful for her partner, Eric, for all the walks they shared and the countless meals he cooked for her. Erica Nicole Williams. <laughs> Erica Williams will launch Set It Off Movement this fall. Please visit bit.ly forward slash set it off movement for more information. Would the MRPL graduates please rise? Dean Hempton, members of the faculty, family, and friends, I present to you the Master of Religion and Public Life graduates of 2022. <laughs> Be seated.
We now present our two graduates for the degree of Master of Theology. Andrew Paul Heil. Nicholas Emmanuel Mariakis. And our DHM grads, if you'd stay standing. Dean Hempton, members of the faculty, family and friends, I present to you the Master of Theology graduates of 2022. We will now present our graduates with a Doctor of Theology. Lindsay Patrick Burroughs. Dissertation, Theology and Place, Religion, Geography, and the American South. Patrick expresses his deepest thanks to his teachers, family, and friends for all their support over the past seven years and to God and Dolly Parton for inspiration. <laughs> he continues on in his role as instructor of humanities at the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. Michael August Ennis. <laughs> Dissertation. The Place of the King Wherein He Dwelt, reading Ephraim's Mariology in its Contexts. Michael thanks his wife Rebecca, his father David, his mother Martha, and his sister Elizabeth. Kelsey Morrison Atkins. Dissertation, the rhetoric of dress and adornment and the construction of identity in early Christianity. And if our doctoral graduates would please rise. Dean Hempton, members of the faculty, family, and friends, I present to you the Doctor of Theology graduates of 2022. <laughs> Dean Hempton, we return it to you. So thanks, Tim, Steph, Annie, all the members of the Office of Student Affairs for your work, thought, and effort to make this ceremony so festive and seamless. So let's give them a big hand for it. <laughs> so 
also want to just say a big thank you to our wonderful facilities team who have yeah. worked um, So I hope to meet and see many of you at our luncheon under the tent on the Francis Avenue side of Swartz Hall, so that side. Um, and I just wish everyone the best of luck and look forward to hearing about your accomplishments in the future. What a great class of 2022. Let's give it up for them one more time. Please join us for the reception. I do ask that our guests remain seated until all the graduates have processed out of the tent and the platform party and the faculty will now lead the graduates out of the tent. Thank you everyone for being here and enjoy the reception.